How do you find your balance? This video is how to find balance in your life. You know, I just set some New Year's resolutions and goals. One of the things I forgot to say, um, and one of the things that I didn't do nearly enough last year, and that is to have enough balance in your life. So what what is balance to you? To me, balance is... The basic thing is, is having the time to juggle between your professional life, your personal life, and your relationships. In other words, if you work eight hours a day and you sleep eight hours a day, you have eight other hours to do all the other things you need to do. And that includes time with your spouse, your significant other, your family, your friends. It means time to, pursue, uh, time to pursue your hobbies, your vocations, the things that drive you spiritually, that uh, are your bliss. It's the time to find, time to kick back, relax, to, uh, you know, chill out with a, with a book or even watch uh, an inane sitcom for half an hour, not longer than that. To me, that's basic balance. And if you do it by hours, depending on how, the type of person you are, if you're that structured, um, then it's easy to figure out, difficult to stick to. Now, for me, the problem is I don't work eight hours a day, and no one really just dedicates eight hours a day to work because there's getting ready for work, there's driving to work, there's that time spent commuting back and forth. And then if you're in a, a challenging job like myself, um, an eight-hour day is considered a, a pretty nice day. I usually work at eight till about 5.30 or 6. And... Between that time, I'm up at 6 to get in for 8. And then if I'm working from 5.30, I'm at home till 6. So my day is, there's 12 hours right there. So one of the things I haven't gotten enough of last year that I vowed to try to do more is sleep. Because when I see that much of my day gobbled up from my day job, and there's only 12 hours left, if I sleep 8, that means I only have 4 hours left to do all the other things I want to do. Balance. So one of the things is to, during that 12 hours at work, one of the things I do, and I'm going to do more of, is I take a half hour walk. So there I get my exercise in. I try to take a few breaks during the day to maybe do some self-reading or work on some writing projects. Again, that helps with the balance. Um, I try to take some time during that day to have a few share some laughs with some co-workers and some friends that takes care of some other parts of balance and I try to manage my stress because yes even Mike Foster who's now walking up this steep hill has stress of course because I'm not a robot I'm a human being the key is managing it balance that's another balance I talk about the triad of balance the mind the body and the spirit and balancing each one of those within themselves Balance all the things you have to do mentally throughout your day, week, month, and life. All the things physically, getting your exercise in, eating right, and spiritually. So, go out there. Think about the things you want to do every day and every week. And then backfill that on how you're going to accomplish those tasks. If you're doing too much of one thing and not enough of another then you're out of balance. You'll find some time in your day. There's a couple hours in there that you're probably doing, that you could be doing, wasting, maybe sleeping too much, maybe watching too much TV, um, maybe working too long days. If you can still, within that structure, find the balance and the time to do the other things that you need to do, to be that person that you have to be, you will. Another hill. And I juggle this balance, getting my exercise in, my spiritualness by being outside, my following my bliss, my hobby, by making videos, and my happiness. Think about it, I hope this helped. Here's to a balanced new you and new year. Peace.